you look at the strengths and weaknesses of the channels, uh, as you say, online is a great transactional medium. And, um, you know, in lots of ways, it's got search engines, which stores don't have. Um, it's it's uh, pretty reliable in terms of the consistency of the experience. Generally, you know, these days, most websites and apps operate in a stable way, whereas the store experience is very variable depending on how many staff there are and how they're feeling. Um, and of course, online is typically much better at being in stock than stores because you've got one centralized warehouse holding the stock, whereas with stores, the stock is dispersed over a large number of branches. And it's quite possible that one branch will have a lot of stock of something and another branch will have none. Um, and things like pricing and product information is very clearly laid out online in a very consistent way, whereas in store it's not. Uh, and then in terms of customer service, um, at its best, of course, a store can be better, but very often you can't find someone to help you. And even just checking out can be, you know, you may have to queue or go and find somebody. Whereas online, you know, you've got one click checkout if they've got your credit card details, it really couldn't be easier. And, you know, um, as you say, there's then the additional um, element of having it delivered to your home. Whereas, you know, we sort of tend to forget that in the traditional supply chain, the consumer was part of the supply chain because they actually covered the final mile to the home. And, and that's now being cut out, which is one of the sort of, um, you know, one of the perhaps less well-known benefits of the, of the, of the online. So, and, and I think that, you know, that convenience will only get greater over time. I, I, I think we're going to have houses with delivery ports built into them, even refrigerated ports in the future where, and with code, code protected so that you know the consumer won't even have to be in in order to get the delivery and it may go some you know food deliveries could even go straight to the back of your larder or your fridge you know um, so so you know I, I have sort of a vision of how that may evolve so it's just going to get more and more convenient um, on the other hand you know it's it's a cold medium at this stage although it may improve due to virtual reality it, it doesn't feel like you're really experiencing the brand in the same way as if you go into a store so there's no question that if a store is done right, which in my view most 95% of stores aren't, so it's difficult for people to imagine how it could be, But because I think most stores are just piles of stock, um, piles and piles of stock sitting around with a little fringe of branding, a little fringe of customer service. So they're not really very good at, at actually uh, doing all the things that stores could do, but there are some examples of, of stores where you know they've understood the shift and they've moved away from that model towards using the store as more of a brand experience um, location. But stores unquestionably could be, with the use of technology and high-level staff, could be wonderful theatrical brand experiences. Uh, you know where you get to sample the brand, uh, you know try best sellers, um, uh, and the, the the brand can learn about the consumers in a deeper way through spending more time with them and understanding all of their needs, a broader range of their needs, so that, so that all of that can be put into the brand system so that they can serve that individual customer better. Um, and, and stores also, uh, we can talk a bit more about branding because there's a lot of work that I do about branding as well, but stores also can be great places uh, to celebrate uh, uh, community, the brand community events um, and through the community sort of spending time together in in one physical place um, and also to learn you know it can be an educational um, experience for them so I think stores are great for you know education they're great for branding they're great for high-level customer service and getting to know, know the customer um, and then the online is great for transacting and to me that's the correct balance between the two channels